Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely, an Illumin Blu-ray Twin Flame. I'm in Chicago, Illinois, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about the new moon that we're having in a Mercury retrograde. So yeah, it's a lot of energies crammed in there with each other. And it is intense. It's intense in certain ways that are throwing people off. And I want to shed some light on some of it while we're in this dredging up moon. Now, we're approaching a change of season, which is a part of why the energy is intense. So if some of this is new to you, please understand that Mercury retrogrades happen usually four times a year. There is purpose in the energy, but it tends to throw a lot of people off and even major publications are publishing things about Mercury and the effects of it. But the main things it affects are communication. Here's the kicker though. It's not current communication. It's how we've all communicated throughout the past, through past lives, misunderstandings, and there's some things that are coming to a head. And there are things that are coming to a halt. And I'm going to talk to you about some of it. So we're on the cusp here of uh, some major, major, major improvements. This is a year for unification. People have said a lot about this is the year for union. This is the decade for it. There's sort of a slot of time that's allotted for people to get their major crap together, get rid of the BS in their lives, and really get going with this. A lot of people have been very, very fatigued and out of energy. And if that is you, you need to come to me so that I can help you re-energize and get your youthful vitality back. And it's not just women, it's men. Men are tired too. Men feel like they've been holding up the weight of the world. And I know there's a lot said about how people are waiting for the DM to move into place and the DM needs to come to their senses and the DM this. If that's your other half, that's still you. So, I mean, let's get straight up about it. Let's stop, you know, the duality that says, you know, I'm this, you're that. That's the other you if that's your other. And so... It's time for a brand new level of unification. It's time to let go of karmic behaviors and karmic circumstances and karmic repeats. So while this retrograde and new moon energy is here, it's important to use it wisely. This is an important part of your overall beingness and continuing to live a healthy life and a healthy life with each other. So what are some of the things about that? So I made this little chart here, okay? So I'm going to talk about some of the people that might just be starting. Do you, have you just recently come upon this information? Have you just recently heard these words or heard about it and you, somehow it's like the puzzle pieces of your life start falling into place and you're like, oh my God, that's what it was like for me. For some reason, when I heard those two words, it was like a bell rang in me. It was like, there you go. The puzzle pieces just, it started to gel together. Now, I didn't know everything then, and, and I won't say I know everything, but I know a lot of things now. I didn't know it at that time, but it started. So is this just starting for you? Are you a part of that wave that is just beginning your twin flame awakening? Maybe you had a spiritual awakening. Maybe it's so new that you decided you were going to research this a bit and you saw a lot of scary stuff out there talking about how everyone separates and 
everyone argues and there's like a knockdown drag out just to make this twin flame work. That is not the truth. That's a bunch of BS and it is a lot of people's experiences, but it is not everybody. And it doesn't have to be that way anymore. Has it been intense? Oh, you betcha. So if you are just starting, what are some of the things you might experience during this energy? Small changes. Small changes that you need to make in your life, okay? The universe doesn't change it for you. You have to start making the changes. It could be changes in your diet. It could be changes in your routine. It could be changes in how you view things, okay? What will you experience? Oh, you're going to feel body sensations. You're going to feel body vibrations. In fact, when it started for me, that was one of the most annoying things was the way my body was vibrating. I was like, how do I turn this switch off? The key is not turning it off. The key is actually ramping it up. And I know how to help people with this so that they can get rest and stop feeling like, you know, they're living in some kind of a giant, you know, box that's shaking them. What else? Hearing sounds. Hearing sounds, hearing voices, your dream shifting, and generally feeling spiritual. Are you generally feeling spiritual and somehow it's opened up for you and you're like, oh, I have a whole new awareness of, you know, what it's really, what it really means to feel spiritual. But you might scratch your head and say, does the priest at my church, like, do they really feel what I'm feeling? Sometimes not. Sometimes it's more of a head thing. This energy is intended to get you to feel and to intended to get your emotions where they need to be. So, yeah, that goes with your body because as they say, where there's no sense, there's no feeling. Body sensations, okay? Only you can tune in. And people get angry because they don't know themselves. They do not know themselves well enough or they have been talked out of it or other reasons. Sometimes as a child, you say things like, mom, I'm cold. And your mom says, my goodness, we have the furnace on. You, you're not cold. To the point where you start doubting yourself. And some people live that way. And then their doubts are part of their daily existence. They have no idea what they feel or what they know. Okay? That is not the twin flame angel way. That is not what your twin flame body is for, is to like take a retreat. So what about the next parts? Oops, let me hold this here. Breakdowns. Okay, you're going to have breakdowns. Emotional breakdowns. You're weepy. You're sensitive. You feel aches, pains, pokes. You feel spine issues. And more importantly, Mental scatter, and do you feel fearful or schizo? Okay, and I say this loosely because nobody likes to feel that way. I'm not poking fun at people who have a genuine illness. In fact, I will say this. I'm here to help people get out of that. If you have someone you love, a relative, and they suffer from this, that is a serious thing. But those things run in families. And science has shown that. And I'm here to say the metaphysical and the love is here to remove it. But you can still experience it. And there's reasons for it. And I help you to get out of it. So what if you're losing your train of thought? Well, there's all kinds of medicines for that now. You could take certain medicines. What if you feel depressed? What if you're afraid you're losing it? What if dementia or Alzheimer's or some other thing runs in your family and you think that is the bane of your existence? I'm here to say no. Because your new twin flame body doesn't want you to hold any of these things. It can't. It's designed to not hold it. It's designed to hold love. 
That sounds cliche, so let me explain it further. It's designed to keep you as healthy as possible, providing you cooperate, you're accountable. This love is a brand new accountability. This means you're putting skin in the game. So while this retrograde might seem like it's making you address small things or your phone line goes dead, that is a drip in the bucket by comparison to what you're really here to do. What else with the mental scatter? Okay. Oops. <laughs> what else with this? Okay. These things all go together. Believe it or not. Do you feel overly sensitive? And this happens a lot with women. You know when it happens? Oh, when we get our moon cycle or our menstrual cycle. Men know this too. They're like, they have an expression. She's on the rig. We have expressions. Oh, I'm joining the communal hut. Flows in town, right? And all of this stuff, like we've all taken it in stride. Except when it comes to the moods. Except when it comes to the weeping. Except when it comes to the oversensitivity. And what are our kids supposed to think? Okay? I have known people that have shut themselves away for a week with migraine headaches when they have their monthly. Now here's the kicker. Men, if your twin is a female, you're going to begin feeling some of this stuff. There's no two-way streets about it. We talk a lot about oneness, but that's a part of the oneness is helping your other get rid of the aches, pains, pokes, and all of the reasons why. Helping yourself to truly transcend. You cannot transcend those levels unless you engage your twin flame body. Because the emotional side of you, if you feel weepy, if you feel sensitive, you're still going to have mental stuff going on. The mental and emotional has been tied up together. It's been parts of the same part of your subtle body, the ego subtle body. You're not going to lose parts of that because you still live here. But you will lose large aspects of your ego that have made you fearful. Fearful. Do you feel like you're split? Do you feel like you're two people? Do you feel like you're living in two levels? All right. Now, there's a lot of people that kind of feel like they're advanced. And they may be healers. And they may work with people. Or they may be um, in some capacity where they're with people. Like they're a school teacher. Um, they cut hair. Uh, they're in a, some kind of a customer service type of job. And you might realize you've been on this journey for years and years. Or you might consider yourself sort of, you know, I'm a veteran. I was there way back when. And yeah, I remember that. I remember when there wasn't a lot of information about this. And I was guided, you know, by my guides to go to bookstores. My higher self prompted me with things. I found some books. I found like-minded people. I even created, do you know what I did? When I couldn't find it, I made it. I made it a twin flame meetup. The first one in its area, I had people showing up and I could not advertise it on the internet. I took flyers around. And I know I might sound like I'm dating myself here, but I was like absolutely on fire to get this rolling. Little did I know it would, you know, wind up being 12 years later. But what if you've been on the, the journey for a while? Well, you might be experiencing some major purging, illness, the death throes of certain things, major bouts of anger. You might feel angry at men or you might feel angry at women. And there's a lot of things to know about why this is shifting this and why it is important. First of all, it's important because none of us should do the same old things in the same way. The second thing is, I want to remind you, you're not crazy. You're not crazy for feeling the things that you're feeling. 
You're not crazy because there is a lot going on here all at the same time. And it's like this undercurrent that comes in. And it's like... And there might be people where you have like, whoa, and you miss the connection. And what's that all about? It's not time. It's not time for those deep communications. It's not time for deep intimacy. It's going to be where machines around you, electronics, they don't seem to cooperate. You have to be able to insist that you are getting the um, efforts put forth for the things that you need, and only you can do that. You are ultimately accountable. And, you know, if you, let, let me give you an example. My dad, he had what is called brittle diabetes. And the doctors kept saying to him, hey, you got to get more exercise. Well, little by little, his circulation was affected. And I didn't know this about diabetes, but it makes people feel depressed. Why? Because there is an actual depressed effect on the organs. They are not functioning properly. And so he would get tired many times. And this became that vicious circle that he didn't feel like moving and then he couldn't move. And then he really didn't feel like moving and on and on. And his illness got worse. But here's one of the things. He was someone who needed someone else to lead him and, um, you know, be an example for him. So as long as he got reminded or asked, you know, hey, did you take your insulin? He could do it. And part of that was he lost his mom at an early age and his aunts took over and he was young and the military was his daddy, but he missed his mom. We all missed her. I never met her, but she was a lovely woman. And, you know, she was his hero, his heroine. She was his heroine in his life story. And he was always looking for someone who would take care of him. Now, that's hard when you're a dad and you're responsible to take care of other people because that accountability really kind of never um, fully developed for him. You know, he would do it if he was, but it always wasn't coming from the inside out. It was coming from the outside in. And that's the way that, you know, some of this energy is. It's the outside in that is propelling you, but you still have to take the steps. One of those steps has to be learning your body. It's like getting a brand new car and breaking it in. Okay, that's what they tell you when you get a car. So for people who have never had a new car, and, you know, I know people who've had them. I've had used cars, good used cars. But there's a breaking in period. That means you test it, you change the oil, you swap out the fluids, okay? Because there's new parts that need to work together. Now, your body, it's a little bit like saying, the knee bone's connected to the thigh bone, and you have to be the one to knit all this stuff together. And it doesn't just happen at the human level. It has to happen in a communing state. That is also what I teach. So I'm teaching people how to do this so easily, how to use some stuff to make it easy. And as they say, you know, Rome wasn't built in the day the things that you're purging out are like lifetimes, eons of stuff. And we all like to go back. So a little bit of this retrograde energy. I have one of my old discs here. Look at that. Look at the title here. Wild Plant. Oops. Wild Planet. Where is it here? Wild Planet. And notice the hair. Okay. They're wearing beehive hairdos. And this is from the 80s. Okay, from the 80s, you know, we had like some nostalgia for the 60s. And 60s was a lot of time of a lot of civil unrest. 
animal prints were in style. You know, there it is. Ooh, hold it by the edges because your fingertips will ruin the vinyl. So I show this sometimes to the teens and they're like, wow, like almost like with a reverence. And, you know, we have no idea that like that time is looked at with nostalgia. And the good news is, is that as you do this work, it's a little bit like that. When I say doing the work, what it means is opening and expanding your light body. It doesn't mean with your mind. It's a very different process. It is reminiscent of things you've done before. And you have to maintain that. You have to maintain your open state. So if you go back to things that aren't healthy for you, you're going to diminish that. And then you got to build it up again. So I say, why not learn it and maintain and keep going? What about the nostalgia factor here? Okay. Well, with the retrograde, your soul it does understand that there's things that you've liked. Why the weeping? Yeah, because you're leaving people behind. You're leaving lifetimes behind. So I have a couple of things coming up here. I do do one-on-one -on -one sessions. I have a great one called Spirit Subtle Body, which is for addictions, stuck energy, fatigue, exhaustion. Um, if you feel blocked, if you feel like somehow you're not moving forward, you're weeping a lot, your twin flame has addictions or you have addictions, help with that. I have another webinar coming up here. That is called, oh, let me get it here, Leaving the Fourth Dimension. It is in three parts. It is a three-week journey during this retro from the new moon to the new season, starting February 22nd. And I have another webinar coming up on chakras and timelines and your cosmic level um, that will be in English and Arabic. So I will be... Um, having those links. If you look at the description below, you'll find the links and you do not have to bump along. Okay. I want you to become an expert surfer and a multidimensional lover. Okay. Some people are losing sight of that, that they're just like, you know what? I'm so tired. I just need to, you know, curl up here. Okay. You can do that. But this train is moving along. The energies are moving things and you're either going to get pulled in the undertow. That happened to me on a trip once. I made a trip to the ocean and at the time I was with my ex. So I was caught in an undertow. It kept pulling me and tumbling me and tumbling me. And I was like, whoa, to where I couldn't breathe. And that's another thing that happens on this journey. The stress will mount until it feels like you cannot breathe properly. I help you with that. I help you in the sessions. But what happened was I was in the ocean and there were people standing. It, it was not far out. I wasn't way out. But they were saying to me, just get out. I couldn't. I was caught in the wave, I was caught in that like undertow energy, pulling me under and like doing this. Like, and every time when I've gone through certain energies and it kind of reminds me of being in a washing machine where you're like tumbling and tumbling, boom, you're in the water. That is what I think of. And I had to save myself. There were no lifeguards around. And, you know, just being told like, hey, get out of there. That didn't cut it. I needed to lift a finger for myself to get out of it. And, you know, in some of my videos, I see comments and people are saying, yeah, I kicked that son of a gun out. Yeah, I didn't do that anymore. Well, that's a healthy thing. Okay, but you need to take it the next step further. You need to actually communicate in an entirely new level because it's not just communication. It is unifying your body. And it is actually being able to make that energy of love, not just, you know, freaking each other, but making 
actual love where you're not perpetuating the same things. You're not giving fresh life to the very things your body is trying to discard. So like, let's start getting wise about this and understand you're not crazy. Yes, the universe wants something of you. Yes, God is trying to help you. Yes, there are new things created. And if you are lost in this and confused, it's time to start joining. So the format of my webinars is this. I do have a presentation. So yes, there is information for the mind. But I open the floor for questions and answers. It is live. It is personal. If something's too personal, I'll reach out to you privately. But the whole purpose is the synergism of the group and getting everyone to move. Move and shift with the shift because the shift has already happened. It's time to shift yourself and your union up. So thanks so much for watching. Look for the links below and I will be back with more. Thank you. Bye.